So we have minutes that we're reviewing from the meeting on October 20th. Does anybody have any uh, changes or anything they'd like to add? No. No. So we'll have a motion to accept as submitted. So moved. Second. All in, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, now, next, I have a resolution. Carol, did you want to go into anything else before we talk about the resolution? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so this is to take advantage of bringing some of our Fairfield, as, as everybody knows, has really um, increased in, in rents and all kinds of things. And this gives us an opportunity to increase the uh, Fairfield payment standard. So. Um, whereas the housing authority is required by HUD regulations. Does everyone have a copy of this to establish payment standards? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the housing authority of the town of Fairfield adopts the exception payment standards above in accordance with HUD's final rule and recently published 2021 small area fair market rents. Um, if Does anybody want any discussion about this or should we have a motion to approve this resolution. I'll make a motion to approve the re resolution number 20-04. A second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Okay, Carol, I'll drop this off tomorrow. Great, and um, I have a, a uh, financial uh, cert for you to sign as well. So I'll try to email that over to you later tonight. Maybe you can just drop both off tomorrow. Well, knowing you, I'll probably get it at about 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to make it before midnight. Okay, sounds good. Okay, now we'll go to the, uh, res uh, Carol, your report. Yes. Um, so first of all, thank you very much for passing the resolution. Um, obviously very good to uh, help our landlords and our folks that are receiving vouchers makes it a lot easier to lease up when our payment standards are closer to what the actual fair market rents are here in Fairfield. So I uh, appreciate that. And um, so uh, just a couple of um, things really to highlight in my uh, report. Um, one is uh, that we're going to be um, issuing hopefully vouchers um, this is sort of a segue from our previous meeting where we had received uh, funding from HUD to uh, address our uh, underleasing, uh, which the Fearful Housing Authority obviously has suffered. Um, so our program has suffered a while uh, regarding our utilization. So um, we have uh, Trish Henry from Millennium right now gathering um, briefing packets and we hope to conduct some briefings and get uh, vouchers issued in December, um, knowing obviously it's probably not the best time of the year to look for rent, but um, you know we wanted to get them out as early as possible. So that's uh, wonderful news, by the way. Yeah. Um, you know, anytime we can issue a voucher uh, or issue vouchers, plural, uh, for our program, it's it's a good day. And then the second thing. Um, I don't know if any of you had a chance. It was in my report. Um, we're at a point now um, with Greenfield Commons. Um, we had gone through the process of um, uh, approaching HUD to, you know, take over at the request, obviously, of the folks that are running Greenfield uh, Commons Inc. to take over uh, uh, ownership and, and management of the property or the asset. And we uh, asked Todd, you know, we were trying to uh, go the, the simplest, what we thought most straightforward way, which was to just take the Fairfield Housing Corp, right, as a 501c3 and step in the shoes of the existing 501c3 uh, corp that um, is the single member of the uh, LLC, frankly, that operates the property. And HUD came back with uh, um, a conditional approval, uh, which is not unlike, it's very typical, but unfortunately one of the conditions is um, to change the, um, uh, the board and the bylaws of the Fairfield Housing Corp 
to go from three uh, folks as it is right now, uh, Rita, Waterman, Carol, Lindsen, and Jerry Stuhlman to uh, seven members because yeah. HUD feels that, um, you know, when you're applying obviously for a HUD, a HUD 202 finance project, which this is, you know, HUD has guidance that you can be a board, you have to be a board and you have to have either somewhere between seven and 15 individuals. Um, so, uh, you know, on its face, I mean, at least for me, um, I remember, um, and John, I know you were here. Jim, I can't recall if you were here or not, but you're here now, so that's all that matters. But Carol and Rita were here. And, you know, the reason, the reasons and the purpose we set up the Fairfield Housing Corp, obviously, was to further the mission of the Housing Authority and also to get access to funding that a housing authority typically couldn't get access to. And here's a classic example, right? A housing authority is not an eligible applicant for a HUD 202. Um, and to expand obviously beyond our, our Fairfield town borders to you know, uh, continue the mission of serving low and moderate income families. So, uh, and the reason the bylaws were set up and, and you know, we, we spent a lot of time talking about it was you know, I think the Housing Authority Board of Commissioners, you know, was concerned, not necessarily at this particular time or, you know, a, a immediate time in the future, but long term, wanted to make sure that the corporation, the Housing Authority st still had what I call control over, you know, the uh, voting aspects of decisions made by the Fairfield Housing Corp. And so that was really the overall goal. And it was a very good and noble goal because I don't think any housing authority wants to set up a 501c3. Um, and the only ability obviously for the housing authority is it appoints and removes um, uh, the board of directors. But, you know, very concerned obviously uh, that a board, you know, a nonprofit board originally set up for good intentions ends up <coughs> doing things that may negate or otherwise conflict with the Board of Commissioners and the Housing Authority's mission. So, you know, I just, it's a long story to just say, you know, there were original reasons that we set up the 501c3. And I do think, you know, the minimum of seven, at least from where I sit, is, uh, you know, your, uh, your staff person uh, for the FHC, you know, it's a, is a, a little bit on the on the troubling side uh, because right now we have three directors and if we were to add four that would you know in a in a straight out vote the four people added could outvote the three that were originally making the FHC so successful so you know I just share these these um, thoughts that I have for lack of a better word I'm not even sure they're very cohesive at this point but when I read this I just you know I. I really felt like it sort of uh, completely changed um, the original, you know, the original goals and the careful thought that you folks, the Board of Commissioners of the Housing Authority, took upon yourself to create these things. So, you know, when HUD comes in for 10 units and tells us we have to, you know, uh, amend uh, our bylaws and add four more directors, I just, I, I feel like we need to pause for a moment um, and think about that carefully. Um, you know, my initial reaction was, you know, we're a, we're a board of three. Um, we have a complete and terrific track record. Um, HUD has actually, HUD, and, HUD is actually, um, you know, finances uh, Trefoil LLC. HUD's been very supportive in the past of, you know, our three member board. So I'm just kind of scratching my head, trying to think of why we would take on 10 units. And, you know, we're doing this because it's it's the right thing to do, but not because, you know, we, we desper desperately need the asset um, for some sort of financial reasons. We don't, um, you know, we're down the street. It kind of makes sense, but this seems to me like to be an awfully large lift uh, and change uh, to, you know, fulfill this, but I'm just going to pause and, you know, there's no need, there's nothing to vote on tonight. I just think, you know, we should, 
probably all think about this a little bit more. Um, what would the process be for, um, say, for example, we decided to expand the, the board? What would, how, how would that process work? Right, so the current bylaws, Jim, um, the only people that can add and remove the board of directors is you folks, Jim, the board uh, of the housing and three. Yep. So theoretically, we could, you know. Uh, and Jim, Jim, excuse me for a second. Sure, John. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Madam Chairman, could I, could I make a motion that the board goes into executive session to discuss a, a matter of potential litigation? We have it on our agenda. So if we want to delay yes. the discussion till later, which I think yeah. John is suggesting, we probably should do that. Let's circle right. back. Yeah. If, yeah. If you don't mind, Jim, we will come Not back. Not at all, John. Point, yeah. point taken. Point taken. Okay. And uh, so that was uh, really the nutshell of my uh, report. The other stuff is pretty, uh, seems to be pretty Thanks. usual. Um, and December, we're going to be very busy. Um, uh, so, you know, just a heads up, we're going to be busy, hopefully, on approving 2021 budgets. Um, appointing the officers of the uh, housing authority and uh, setting our regular meeting schedule for 2021. And somehow uh, in the pandemic COVID-19, figure out how we can possibly celebrate uh, our holidays. Cause I know I, I look forward to that. I know Peggy does as well. And I'm, I'm sure all of you do. So we'll have to figure something out. Um, we'll have to get maybe a little more creative, uh, but anyway, so we're going to be busy in December, um, whether we like it or not. <laughs> right. And right. then I'll just turn it over to Peggy because Peggy, Peggy just right. A nice job mm -hmm. on her. I'll be, I'll her be very quick. Can you hear me? Because yes. yes. Okay. Great. Um, I just want to assure the board that um, the energy assistance is going well. I think we're on a delay, but that's okay. The energy assistance is going well. Residents are able to get their energy assistance by mail and by helping with faxes and, and copies. Um, you know, that seems to be going at, without a hitch, although I'm sure they loved when people came to the community room, but it is being done, as you said, in COVID situation. Um, we uh, sent around the notice to all residents of Trinity Foil that we were going to be delivering a Thanksgiving lunch uh, from uh, Boston Market on the 24th. So we're taking orders and Carol and I will be the little elves that will go around and, and just to hand deliver the nice box lunches to each of the residents that were interested. So that will be a, a fun day, I think. And lastly, I just want to also assure the board that all the residents Bigelow Center buses are back up and starting to run. So the weekly, uh, shopping is still taking place, but they've also started uh, medical appointments again. So very safe, just, you know, one at a time and schedule ahead of time. So residents are able to get about and, and do their shopping and medical appointments. Peggy, this is Rita with my forever question. All these things you're doing with the food boxes is just terrific. Do you need some donations, some financial donations or anything for this? Because I think we'd be, I would certainly be happy to contribute to that. I think, we'll, I, I think we're we're all set for this, but certainly if Carol thinks that any different, I think we are we're happy to uh, as the Fairfield Housing, you know, provide that to the residents. Rita, that's a wonderful a wonderful yeah. thought. And right now, the good news is uh, both the pine tree and and trefoil assets are actually in good shape, and we do actually now have money for some resident service programs initiatives, which obviously meals is one of them. But in the future, I um, appreciate that. We'll retain that uh, in case we, we do need a donation or two. So thank you for your thoughts. Okay. And I, I will share before I sign off, Rita, that way. I did have several of the residents who called and their family very appreciative because they said their parent wasn't going out for Thanksgiving. And, you know, they really liked just something special being brought in. So it really was, a, I think, a, a nice thing for those that, rightly so, are just staying home. Uh, this Thanksgiving. Right. So oh, many joy. people <laughs> are staying home for sure. And, you know, this leads me, thank you, Peggy, 
um, yeah. to announce. And, you know, obviously right after Rita's comment, we are so appreciative of Rita being here and she has been reappointed to the commission for another, I think it's three years. So yay, yay Rita, yay. thank you very much. Thank you, Rita. Thank you. Well, Thank you. When Carol called to remind me of this, I said, you know, I, I do believe that this authority could use some people with much more knowledge of housing and HUD and the rules and all that. And she said, if you go, I go. <laughs> so, of course, I'm saying because we can't live without Carol Lansman. So thank you all. We need an editor also, Rita. I, I You're the best. The You're the best. Editor. Exactly. Every newsletter I type up, I think, what would Rita say? Let me double exactly. check what I just wrote. Exactly. So I I'd like to uh, recess now, unless anyone has any other comments, so that we can go into, I'll accept a motion to go into executive session. So moved. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. All right, Second. all in favor. We are now recording and officially out of executive session. And as John likes to remind us all, there obviously were no votes or uh, decisions made, just discussions regarding our litigation and real estate matters. Okay, so we're back in session at, uh, if I can read the 635. And uh, if any, does anyone have anything else that they'd like to bring up in regular session? Our next meeting would be when, Carol? I don't have, oh, let's see if I have a calendar yep. with Hang me. on. Yeah. Our next meeting would be December 8th, it looks like. Yep. Tuesday, December 8th. Yes. Yes. And then we can decide if there's, I don't know, this may be a Zoom party. Yeah. Yeah. As Zoom Thanksgiving lurks. Yeah. yeah. I hate to say it, but. Yeah. So yeah. we'll do the best. Everything will be on hold there too, but we'll, if we can't party, then we'll find another time in the spring. Oh, okay. So if there's nothing else to discuss, let's have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Maybe. All in favor. Aye. Thanks, Aye. everyone. And stay Take safe. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Everyone stay safe yeah, during these crazy times. Bye-bye.